bless you. Would you please stand as we uh, we join together in prayer to open the service? Heavenly Father, we just want to say thank you, Lord God. There's so many things we, we're grateful for. Grateful for the opportunity to be here, to gather together with health and life and and uh, to be able to gather together with, with brethren of like precious faith to fellowship around your word. We ask you to be with us, Lord God, that you would, we invite you to be with us and to uh, receive our praises, Lord God, and to speak to us today, Lord God. May we each leave with that portion that we need, Lord, and we ask that you make your presence known in our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Good morning. While we're standing, let us let us read a psalm. Amen. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord which made the heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from time on forth and even forevermore. Amen. And let us sing. You may be seated. I heard an old, old story. How it came.
see the blood, I will pass over you. Sister Georgian, we ask that we, the Lord knows all things, we keep them in prayer. Amen. Also, for those that are watching, if you have an unspoken request, just indicate it by uplifting your hand. God knows where you're exactly where you're at. He knows who you are, and He knows your need. Um, also, um, for those that are here, Brother Judson John and Sister Sylvia from uh, uh, Farmington, New Mexico, send a greetings. I talked to them this morning. And so... Um, God bless you, uh, you're watching, and they greet each and every one of you. They greet mama, and they greet dad. 
Okay, so we like to, they love you, they love us, uh, we love them. Uh, we're gonna go to the petitions. We have a petition? Yeah. It's not written here, but you have one indicated by yes. a bit in your hands. Yeah. While Brother Ernie prays for the, um, the offering, the petitions, and, and for your needs. Amen. Let's bow our heads. <coughs> Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be here in your house of prayer once more, Lord, as we present the petitions to you, those who raise your hand, Lord, and we ask you that you look at their need, we ask you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to help and prayer to you, and thank you, Lord, thank you, Lord, help the people in need, we ask you to help them. Our blessed offering this morning, Lord, bless the cheerful giver, the bless you. What we take up, Lord, for the, its intended purpose. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us stand. Let us sing. I'm so glad Jesus set me free. How many are glad today? Man, for Jesus' power that set us free. Amen. I'm so glad Jesus set me free.
I want to sing about the cross and sing about the blood shed for us. All the world knows what he did. Many people carry him as a crucifix. I want to sing about the man and how job of a tyrant slay the land. Pay the cost of creation of the world had been lost. Jesus died upon the tree, he shed his blood to set us free. He suffered there at Calvary, God's substitute of history. Only he could pay the price. Only he had lived a worthy life. To that special, amen. amen. Yeah, absolutely true, amen. God bless that special, brother Alex, um, brother Judson, and sister Sylvia. They sent a greetings this morning. They said, God bless you, mama and daddy. Just to let you know, I talked to them this morning, okay, from uh, New Mexico, okay, Farmington, New Mexico, Judson, John, amen. Let us stand so we can prepare to, to hear the word, okay. Make way for the word as, as our local pastor, Brother Alex Burunda Jr., comes and brings us our portion. Amazing grace. Amazing grace. Was great. 
grace. T'was grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. A precious sense it doesn't follow what are we here for what are we doing uh, and uh, several several years ago uh, and I better start praying I better pray first and, and let me read a uh, scripture if I can the word of God and then I'll pray and then I'll get to whatever I go because uh, because I was going to explain something right now that I, 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 I turned too many corners all of a sudden. I'm going one way and I turn. And a lot of the interpreters used to tell me that, uh, that I'm the hardest person to interpret. And it's not because they, they didn't know the words, it's just they couldn't keep. Not with the train of thought, but when you're interpreting, waiting for the interpreter, something's already coming in, in my mind. And, and uh, I can't say it because you understand what I'm trying to say. How many of you understand what I'm trying to say? Amen. Okay, that's Amen. good. Okay. Uh, I'll read a scripture. And uh, it's going to be in first uh, first Peter 5. Uh, I couldn't find it, but there it is. Thank you. Because uh, 
First Peter 5. Uh, I don't think I put it up there. First Peter 5. Uh, Verse 3. And it reads thus. Uh, Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Neither, I'll read it again. Neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. Lord Jesus, we thank you this morning. Uh, for the reading of the word and, and for everything being just the way it should be. Mm-hmm. Although we don't understand, but we thank you for this morning. Thank you for everyone being here and for, for the audience there in the, in the internet, on Facebook, wherever it's being seen or heard. We thank you and praise you for all things. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. And what I was trying to say was that... Um, Exactly what I was trying to say with it. Uh, we're, we're, we're very peculiar. Peculiar. And I was going to mention some names and uh, hope they don't get angry or upset with me, but we have uh, uh, Brother Delgado with us right now this morning. And I, I think about him quite a bit because uh, he's very peculiar. Man. Man. In Spanish, muy peculiar, hermano. Um, uh, Brother Alex is very, very peculiar. <laughs> to the point that he, I don't think he's right. <laughs> Each and every one are very peculiar. If you can accept that this morning, you don't have to. Okay. But I want to tell you that God is so peculiar to himself. He's, God is peculiar. He's very choosy. That, that's what it means. And I'm going to go to the scriptures or to the light slides that Brother Brandon talked about. And, and I'm, it's going to go slow. But I want you to get it. Because it doesn't do any good to run if you don't get it. Okay? No. No. So, and I, I took, I, I, got, I got a digital beat. I think it's about 100 slides or 80, 90 slides. And I kept going, and, and, and it's not the, the intelligence, no, no, no. It's, it's that it, there's, the word is connected. It's a chain connected from Genesis all the way through all the books, to the first five books in the Old Testament. And it keeps on going through the prophets, Amen. through the judges. It just keeps on going and going and going to Jesus Christ it comes. And then he's got apostles. It don't make sense, but, you just, but there it is. It's all Bible. Amen. And so... <laughs> We have a peculiar God, okay? But it's very selective, it's very peculiar, and he wants things done his way. Yeah. Nah. But even even with all it being peculiar, and the way he wants it, he says, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give them free moral agency. They can choose nah. and do anything they want to. Nah. Mm-hmm. They can go to school or not go to school. Yeah. They can obey me or not obey me. Nah. But yet he's peculiar. He nah. wants things done his way. Nah. God is good, you know. Um, that, that was not even my thought. You know, it just, it's, I think God is just so good. Okay, you know, definition of peculiar. A definition is really important. I remember there was a brother, brother Paul. Um, how many of you know brother Paul Garcia or knew him? I knew him. Man. Okay. I, I heard through the grapevine. <laughs> you know how the grapevine is, right? People would say, oh. That's a brother with definitions. All he talks about definitions. Mm-hmm. But you know, let you know me tell you something. A good attorney, a good attorney, any attorney that doesn't know the meaning of the words that he speaks as, a, as an attorney mm-hmm. when he stands before the judge and his adversaries and the witnesses there, he's not doing his, his job. He's not an attorney. Mm-hmm. Because when an attorney says something, any word, when he speaks about a specific word or a specific thing, all the words that he used 
will be within that framework, within that circle of the definition of the words that he's saying. If you're saying, for example, you are loquacious. All the, com all the company, what, is he, what does he mean? What is he talking about? Well, it means he's very talkative. He's talking about uh, the person. And, and he said, well, and he's, but if he says, well, but he's silent. It doesn't follow. You see what I'm saying? Talking, talkative, talking a lot, and very talkative, and he's talking. But if he says, well, sometimes he's silent. It, it doesn't match. Nah. So he's, he's confusing the judge even. Okay. I hope you're not confused. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. The definition of peculiar, first of all, uh, uh, the word peculiar, uh, it, it means what is up there. But I want, before I get to the word peculiar, I want to use it as an adjective instead of there. ADJ is an adjective. <laughs> now what we did, did learn in school back in the days, when we learned in school was that uh, a noun is a personal pleasure thing, right? A noun is a personal pleasure thing. An adjective, basically, this, I'm not going to say that it describes a noun. I'm not, I need to break it down so we can learn, so I can learn, okay? An adjective describes a person, a place, or a thing. Okay. If you don't remember that from school, you can say amen. You may say amen. Yeah, amen. Okay. Yes. I know physically you can, but I give you permission to say Amen. Okay. Amen. <laughs> it's a play of words, right? We 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 have the uh, okay. definition of peculiar. How many of you have understood me, or have I lost you already? Because I'm peculiar. I have. I lose people. Okay. Thank you. I got one raised. I already lost. He's lost. That's okay. The definition of peculiar. Thank you. Definition of peculiar. It's an adjective. The definition, this is the etymology, this is where the root, where it starts from. It's belonging exclusively to one person. Now this, this Bible, Genesis to, to Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, is one word. Is, is, am I confusing you because of the, maybe this, the, the mic or, and this right here? Is it both audible or is it? They're both on, Brother Alex. Okay. 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 If you want to move, the tie mic's for you. Okay. If you want no. to stay stationary, the mic right there is for you. Okay, that confused me. Okay. So we're okay. The 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 belonging. We're fighting right now. Spirits, okay. The belonging exclusively to one person means peculiar. Okay. What, how many of you remember when the, the Bible in Genesis says God created the heavens and the earth? Amen. Amen. Then God created, He created He, them, man. Yeah. Male and female. Yes. Yeah. Uh, beautiful. We're in there. Okay. <clears throat> so that's belonging. Those poor people that were, they, that were created back there in the book of Genesis, in the beginning of the book, the seed chapter, the beginning of everything. That's your beginning. That's my beginning. Those are our parents back there. Yes or no? Yeah. Okay, amen. Okay, we got, we're, that's good. Hey, but being so peculiar, God being so peculiar, He made Him spirit form first. Yes or no? Yes. Amen. He made Him spirit form. So we're spiritual. Yes. Yes. Okay. But then not only from spirit, He formed us with His hands. He made us with His hands. Yes or no? Yes. yes. He made some tall guys, Brother Ernie, about six, four, five, six, six, six. Two. I thought you were six, six. Because you know what it is? I, I'm getting shorter. That's what it is. <laughs> that's what it is. That's good. good. And, and and what it is, God made us peculiar. Each one is peculiar, and we not only that, we're diverse. The same thing. We're so diverse that we have so much diversity now. Yes or no? Yeah, nice. Okay. Thank you, Lord. Are you following me? Okay. And then, this is why we have this problem right now. In the world right now. Mm. Because it's been prophesied 
They already say it. People's rights in the book of Revelation. Mm -hmm. It's got people's rights, and everybody's got a right. Yes. And thank God that the women's got a right too now. Okay, now I'm having problems right now. <laughs> for those of you that are very spiritual or high, too spiritually high for me, you're 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 confused and, and you're down. You, you don't know what I'm talking about. But if you hold on for a little bit, okay. Since this has been taped, that's good. But in that peculiarness, God being peculiar, he made man, male and female. He made all this. But you and I belong exclusively, exclusively to that one person. Mm. Amen. Okay. And he made us free moral agencies. Amen. Amen. And the peculiarity of God himself is that he gave us free moral agency. Nah. Yes. And, and I'm going to jump ahead of myself. I can't help it. Okay. Here is God. He makes man perfectly. And he anoints fast winding forward to the book of Psalms where the psalmist, the guitarist, the singer, the anointed person, David, the giant killer, the man anointed to be a prophet, to be a king of Israel, the seed of Abraham, the seed of David. Yeah. And he goes, and this is what he does. He commits adultery, first of all. Nah. Are you following me, people out there? Yes. Mm -hmm. Then he sings his beloved captain to the forefront to have him killed so he can have his wife. Nah. Wow. An adulterer and a killer. But this killer and adulterer, he's a man after God's own heart. Nah. And he forgives him. Yes. I didn't get it, but I'm beginning to get it. That is God's grace. Amen. Nah. Amen. That's his peculiarity. And he made you and I not only that special. Special means nobody like it. There might be something that looks like, but this is special. Amen. This stands out. You know, I had a hard time describing in school why some students excel. They're A students, what they call the, the top, top of the notch. And when somebody would get a C, it was just average. I come to find out in, in definitions, Zoe, what average means. You know what it means? Not meeting the mark. Not very good. Amen. We are not average. Amen. We are special. We are the best that God created. Yes. But even as David, it's in the Bible. I'm talking Bible now, okay? It's in the Bible. He looked down. And he saw Bathsheba, oh, what a chickadee. What a nice looking woman. Wow, I've never seen her. But yet he had all these harems, all these women back there yeah. that he could have. Nah. Wow. That's the way it was back then. Right. <laughs> but he got something that was not his. Nah. Nah, man. That's where he messed up. And from there, all sleuths with crept in. The devil crept in, the spirit. Became a murderer. No. Brother, I, I don't want to hear those things. We need, we need grace. We're talking about grace right now. I'm trying to tell you that's God's grace. I don't care who you are. I don't care what you've done. I don't care where you've been. What honky tonk or what honky donk where you've been or whatever garbage you garbage can you've eaten out or where you've been. Man. God is faithful to his word Man. because you Man. forgot you lost your way. Mm -hmm. You don't belong to yourself. Oh, you're so muy macho. I'm the greatest man. Look at this hair on my chest. Oh, yeah. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at my figure. Look how pretty I am. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me a couple my. of years. Yes, yeah. that's right. That's right. Amen. Man. We, we know what we're talking about, brothers. Yes. Right, Brother Delgado? Right. We were strong and good looking at one time, brother Delgado. Yes, we were good looking at one time. <laughs> but we 
got into a fight. We got into a fight. Yes. And we went through an alley, and in the alley they beat us up. Man. They got all the garbage, and they got tubes and hit us in the head. Yes, sir. We don't look so pretty now. Man. Some of us came out. I saw my, my son walking. And I noticed that he, he walked a little bit different because he actually thought he was Superman. One day he jumped out of the roof because, uh, you know, his big, bigger brother took the ladder away from him. And he jumped down. He didn't even get down. He broke his foot, Ouch. his ankle. And then he wanted nobody to know, but that's another story. Let him tell you about it. <laughs> Amen. This peculiar God had Jacob. Man. Gave birth to a, a, a man by the name of Jacob. And, and he was a weird guy. But we'll keep on going because I'm getting into another story, okay? You and I are particular. Man. Because God is particular. Yes. He says, You can eat a vain tree. All the trees in my beautiful garden. Man. And you're going to take care of it. You ain't going to be a lazy guy. No. He took, he took his son Adam. He took his son Adam. I got to look at the camera, okay? He took his son Adam. After he formed him and put him in the Garden of Eden. But he actually took him by the hand. And he placed him in the Garden of Eden. Man. And he placed you and I. At a certain day, and at a certain time, at a certain town, at a certain village, at a certain state, at a certain nation, whatever it is that you were at, Man. that's who you are. Whether you like it or not, but that's God, because He's particular. He wants to explore and to show His diversity. Man. And He wants to do it through you. Oh, glory. That's how particular he is. Yes, sir. You're not your own property. You're not your own man. You don't belong to the gang. You don't belong to the party. You don't belong to the communists. You don't belong to the Democratic Party or to the Republican Party or to the Independent Party or to any garbage party. Nice. You, you're God's own property. Yes. And he's put you here on earth to do something for him. You're to shine the light. Man. Last week I was... Singing because my, it's my wife's fault. I was driving from Yuma and I was, I, I was getting kind of sleepy. He said, put on the, we don't have a radio because when are you going to hear the radio? Same old thing. The same old thing, same old thing. So I wanted to hear uh, a song. So she put on this light of, this the light of my most, I'm going to let it shine. Amen. So that's all I heard and it stuck with me. Man. But this is what you and I are here for. Here on earth. You don't know it. You really can't see it sometimes. But that's it. You have a light to shine. Man. He says, you're crazy, Man. brother Alex. Well, I know that. You don't have to tell me that. We well, come to find out the knowledge technology. How many of you have phones? Okay, iPhones. Okay. Okay. That, that's good. That's technology. Now, if the technology came about back in the years and yesteryear, if I can say it this way, before the x-rays came in, the Bible tells me that God is light. Man. God is love. Man. And that Elohim, the self-existent one, gave himself birth and the person of Jesus Christ, the Logos, Amen. came out and it was light. Man. And we ourselves are his, we're, we're from him. We have the nature of God, but we lost it back in Genesis. But we had light and have light inside of us. And we have a light that we're supposed to shine. When they take an x-ray from you, they come to find out that that x-ray is not producing the light in you, but it's a light inside of you produced or manufactured or caught by the x-ray. Check it out. Yes, sir. If you don't believe it, that that's okay. If you don't believe it, that's okay. You are God's private property. Amen. 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 
How many of you believe that? Nah. God's private property. You know, in that property that I'm talking about, I'm telling the wife, I hope I don't get into trouble here now. Because I, I, I open up myself and, and I have problems. I was telling the wife, we, we, we Genesis, okay, so we don't get lost, okay. Take the bottle tree, take every fruit of the tree, you can meet up with the tree, but this tree over here of good and evil, of knowledge, okay, good and evil, don't touch it. I was telling the wife, okay, all you got, guys that love your wives or your girlfriends, whatever it is, okay. God bless you, okay, God bless you all. I, I was telling her that I remember the first time I held your hand and walked with you. I got you thinking, don't I? Well, I hope I do. If I don't. Uh, yes. <laughs> now, if you remember that, God, before the foundation, not only knew about you, but he thought about you first. Man. He thought in his mind. And he knows all about you. And I can dare to say that God loved you so much that he took his only begotten son and gave him birth and put him out there. So he could start holding his hands to you. There's that song, Brother Ernie. Jesus hold my hand? Something like that? Man. Am I right? <laughs> He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Amen. We do it, Amen. but He will never do it. He'll Amen. never forsake you because Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, back in yesterday, Amen. before the beginning of time, Amen. and forever. Yes. Amen. Amen. But you know, the punch came in when Satan beat Adam there at the punch. Amen. Beat him up so bad, and that's what we inherited. That's why why we messed up because of that. Without getting into all the details, okay? Literally, literally, property and cattle. You know, I'm not a, I'm not an animal. <laughs> but in biology, they tell us we we belong to the to the animal kingdom. Man. So be it. Man. Okay. Yes. Another thing. Number seven. It's the seventh word flock. <clears throat> flock. Rebanio. Isn't that beautiful? Yes. <laughs> okay. We already described what an adjective is. Yes. Now, if you guys don't remember that one, here it is for you, okay? <laughs> it's a uh, English 99, I think it is. Okay. Ah, nothing like the Word of God. Man. Now, this belonging exclusively to one person, Isaiah the prophet, he's, he's saying this. Isaiah the prophet. Okay. I'm talking to you now. Talk to you. Isaiah the prophet, chapter 1. Wash you, make you clean, put away the doings of your sinning. Nah. Nah. We want God to wash us. No. Wash you, <laughs> wash yourself. Yes. Put away the doings of your sinning. Man. Remember, remember going to New York, my very first time with Brother Lalo Reese. We ended up there, and I that's that was what I took off. I know they expected big bombs because they expected all this and this and that. That's what I said. I, I preached out of Isaiah 1. Isaiah the prophet, he shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Man. A shepherd, it, it, we we seen videos of it, right, Stephen? Do you have? You had a. It was beautiful. He shall feed his flock like a shepherd. Man. 
He shall gather the lambs. Man, that's the come I like that song a lot. The spirit song. Come and feed the lambs. Man. With his arm. Man. And carry them in his bosom. Right here. And shall gently lead those that are with young. Man. 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 Wow. What a pastor. So a pastor, you know, a pastor's a nice guy. <laughs> okay. He's, he's a nice guy. Okay, here it goes. Right, brother? He's a nice guy. And, and he doesn't confuse the sheep. The very first thing I did here at this uh, brother Zeke, and we had a minister's meeting. And at this minister's meeting, everybody introduces himself. You know, I'm so so, and I'm, I do this, and I do that. So I said, My name is Alex from the Junior, and, and I'm the pastor of the missionary outreach, uh, missionary outreach in Tempe. And, but I'm the pastor by default. Mm -hmm. I confused him. <laughs> we had so many things going. The, the red lights, black lights, yellow lights. But that's that's what I did. Okay, but we should do that, okay? Very anyway, good. I did. Jeremiah, the crying prophet. Mm -hmm. Jeremiah 3, 15. And I will give you pastors Man. according to my heart. Man. Man. God's own heart gives us pastors that have God's own heart. Man. And it's going to feed you with knowledge and understanding. Amen. Matthew 4, 4. The devil comes and talks to Jesus because Jesus had fasted for 40 days. He was hungry. Yeah. The devil saw that. Here's my opportunity. I'm going to get this guy. Amen. He says, you know, if you be the man of God, if you're God, why don't you ask these rocks to be turned into, these stones to be to bread? <laughs> Jesus is saying, I'm the main man here. Don't you tell me what to do. I agree with you, devil. Who are you? He didn't say that. He said, no. Man, by the word. Man should not live by what? Yeah. Bread alone. Nah. But by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Amen. And God is so good because we need spiritual food and we need natural food Amen. and God gives us both. Amen. Oh. Amen. Sure you work. Oh, yeah, you, you sweat. Right, Brother McDonald? Working as hot carriers or masons, whatever it is, we work hard. Either behind a desk. Can you believe that people work hard behind a desk and actually sweat? Nah. And they might even have breakdowns. I'm beginning to pull my well, what little hair I have, you know. But it just working behind a desk in a computer drives you crazy. It's it, it just oh very nerve wracking. Nah. Yes. I think it might even be harder than working with a pick and shovel. Because once you work with a pick and shovel, you rest, you eat, you sleep, oh you feel rejuvenated. But with, with 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 the other stuff, it, it, it's it's terrible. Nah. You just can't. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Isn't that nah. wonderful? Yes. <laughs> I love this. And I <laughs> nah. Nah. <clears throat> met the bishop from Cucamanga. Well I don't know what Cucamanga is at. <laughs> I hope there's not a pastor over there that's going to get upset at me, send me a text or something. <clears throat> and I will set up shepherds over them, over his sheep. Man. God has you and me as sheep. Yes. And shall feed them. And they shall fear no more, Man. nor be dismayed. <clears throat> Neither shall be, they be lacking. Man. Save the Lord. Man. And I shall set up one shepherd over them, Man. and he shall feed them, Man. Man. even my servant David. This is what I was talking about. Man. He shall feed them. Oh, God. Now he becomes a, a pastor also. I got into trouble, brother. I'm a, I'm a problem. I got a problem. But he messed up. We shepherds are not supposed to mess up. 
got a problem. Thank you. We're not supposed to mess up. Not. How many of you have understood what I said this morning? How many of you are lost? <laughs> That's good. That's good. You're lost. The beat goes on. <laughs> that's that's my job. The scripture that I wanted to go to will be Ephesians 4:11, which we all know. And I'd like to read that to you from here. You know, there's a, and now to the to those that are in the 200 class in the message, not 101, but in the class 200 end. For those of those that are mixed up, they do not believe in the fivefold ministry, I'd like to point to you to Ephesians 4, 11, okay? Right. And this, and you can go with Ezekiel also, okay? Ezekiel 34, 23, you can read it there. And I will set up one shepherd over them, and he shall feed them, and even my servant David, he shall feed them, and he shall be their shepherd. Man. Going back a little bit now. And I will give you pastors according to my heart. We shall feed you. So someplace there's pastors again. Man. Real pastors with the heart of God. Not, not, not a pastor that wants to just take your money and, and just uh, give you some beautiful words and uh, good messages and positive messages and not give you a gospel spanking once in a while. Man. Man. Okay. And he does this to the flock. Yeah. Okay. Ephesians 4 11. I'll go ahead and read it. And he gave some apostles <clears throat> and some prophets and some evangelists yeah. and some pastors and teachers. Now if you notice that if you when you read your Bible at home, when you go read it at home, not not only there's one apostle. That's plural. It's more than one apostle. Amen. Amen. Be before I... Okay. I'm not going to run. And he gave some apostles. Okay? Can we say amen to that? Okay. Amen. It's more than one, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, now, the apostles of apostles is Jesus Christ. Amen. Yes or no? Amen. Yes. So we have a chief apostle. Amen. Yes. Amen. Okay. And he gave us prophets. Man. Not one prophet, but prophets. More than one prophet. Man. Okay. And Jesus Christ is the prophet of prophets. Amen. Can we say that? Amen. Amen. And you know where I'm going with this, right? Okay. We have it up there on the... On, on the uh, thank you, sister. And he gives some apostles. Okay. More than one. Jesus Christ being the chief apostle. And some prophets. Now, Jesus Christ is the prophet of prophets. Amen. Okay. And he's a chief prophet. Yeah. And some evangelists. Man. Man. And there's more than one evangelist. But yeah. Jesus Christ is the evangelist of evangelists. Man. Man. Okay. Why am I doing this? Because it's, we need, it needs to be said. Pastors. Jesus Christ is the great shepherd. He is the great pastor. He is the chief pastor. He is the pastor of pastors. Man. Did you know that how many of you knew, knew that the, the pastors, your local pastors, the pastors are going to give an account mm -hmm. for the shepherd? For the, he's going to give he's going to give an account. Mm -hmm. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about the Bible. The Bible says he's going to give an account. They have to give him an account. Yes, sir. Now, yeah. can you imagine a pastor being an accountant also? Now come on, don't, 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 don't back down on me, okay? When the IRS gets a hold of you, Brother Ernie, I'm, talking, I'm not talking about that, Ernie. I'm talking about me. When he got me, there was no place to run. Right, Brother Sister Olga? There was no yeah. place to run. But I, the IRS is not going to beat me. Well, guess what? Not only did they beat me, they took away my money. They robbed me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Oh, this is them, Mr. Ryaris. You know you did. 
that we're getting into trouble, really, really into trouble, right? <laughs> but that's okay. It's not the first time. And he's got teachers. Jesus Christ is a teacher of teachers. He's a true teacher. Yes, sir. He's a main man. Amen. Okay. Isn't that wonderful? You know, okay. why don't you stand up with me? If you can take something home with you to this morning, and and uh, rather than going through a lot of information, we're, we're in the uh, information age, I think they call it. Right? Brother? Amen. Information, yes, information, sir. information, information. Yes, sir. That we, we, I personally, this is Brother Alex, I get overloaded. I don't want to, I don't want to hear stuff. <laughs> it's overload. I can only deal with what I know how to deal with. I can only work with what I know. You know, and, and you, because it's information overload. What are you going to do with it? You get all this information, they're spending out real fast. So, so this morning we learned that we have a peculiar God, and and He wants things done His way. Right. But He's so good through His grace that He's given us free moral agency. We right. can do anything we want to. Yes. We can say yes or no. I, right. I love you, God. I will follow you. But yet we are His peculiar people, right. and He wants He wants His peculiar people. To be like him. Yeah. With that song. To be like Jesus. Yes. To be like Jesus. You ready, Stella? Come on forward. Uh, Sister Lupita, could, could you, if you have that address uh, where we're at. Thank you. Um, that address uh, up here yes. at Missionary Outreach Ministries. Yes. And if those of you that, that heard the message or watched the message this morning, if you if you want to have a comment or talk to us, where do we get this information from? Uh, we'd be more than happy to share it with you. Okay. And those of you that were touched by the words that were said uh, and, and understood that you needed Jesus Christ as your personal Savior and you need you need help, okay. we'll be praying for you at this moment, and we'll ask the Lord. To, to help you. Okay. Heavenly Father, we come to you this morning with uh, acknowledging that we are insufficient, Lord, and there's not enough time and not enough uh, ways of saying, but we thank you for, for your ministry. Yes, we thank you for the way you are, Lord Jesus, for your peculiar, uh, peculiarity, yes. and because you're peculiar and you have a peculiar people. Yes. We're a holy people. We're set aside we're holy people. We're we, we supposed to walk a, a certain way in a different way. Lord Jesus, be with us as we thank you this morning and bless those bless those people that need to be blessed this morning, Lord Jesus. So we thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning we, we were uh, Wife and I were driving to work, and uh, you may be seated. We we were uh, thinking about uh, uh, getting here on time, and as we saw the as we saw the we're there 51st Avenue in Vidal, brother Stella, we're there 51st Avenue in Vidal, and we noticed a, a a gentleman, a young man, passing right in front of us, and he was walking, and. Uh, you may be seen. And I'm, I'm going to show you, uh, Brother Seven. I hope you catch us, okay? Yes. Okay. Uh, the He was walking in front of us, and we can walk, being peculiar, right? We're, that's what we're talking about this morning. And I saw a very peculiar sight. And this man did not understand what peculiar means. He should have been here at this message this morning. And being peculiar, he was walking, and I'm sure you've seen this already. Walking with his uh, show and tell time, brother, brother peculiar. You seen how many of you have seen the white people, black people, Mexican people walking with their pants down? Yes. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. He had his pants right about here. Okay. Right in here. T-shirt. 
no, no t-shirt. And he's walking there and he's walking on the floor. Because <laughs> he couldn't walk fast. He was hot on the he's, He was so peculiar, he took a peculiar drug. I don't know the name of the drug. I didn't know he's doing this thing. He's been peculiar. He's been what he must have. He's got hair in his chest. Oh, okay, I didn't see any hair on his chest, but he's a white man, okay? Anyway. But as he's walking, and, well, he's a white man, and he had a white, not very much of a t shirt. So I'm describing something to you. This is, this is not pornography. This, this is what I'm telling you. I'm a witness to this. But this is what happens to people, okay? Anyway, his pants were down. He, he, not only were his shorts, he was exposing himself. My pastor, Brother Bernie, had mentioned one of these days back in the 70s, there's not going to be enough police officers to take care of the Phoenix, Phoenix area. And I go, oh, no, Brother Bernie, you missed it. I don't want to take care of them. I want to hook them, book, book them, get them by the hair, shake them. I want to sell that class. Let's go to jail for being or marijuana, whatever it is. You're going to go to jail. I'm going to In order to get the police officer to come to your house nowadays, for him to hook and book him to take him to jail, there almost has to be a crime committed. You have to be beat up. You have to have some show. You have to be st stabbed or shot. That's right. Amen. Because they can't. Because the political system, the political system, the devil system, they come together. Everything's coming closer and closer. Pretty soon they're gonna ask you, do you believe <laughs> this, this, this? Oh, you believe that? Okay. I'm gonna, you're out of here. Let's go. We're going to a real cool climate where you can cool down. Okay. Okay. I've said enough. So there's only one place to go, and that's to Jesus. Go back to the owner. Thank you, Brother Stella. You can come. We, we, we love you. And that, that address we gave you, you can email us. We'll eventually have uh, two or three phone, phone calls there, uh, phone numbers that you can actually call us. We only had one at one time, but we're going to go back to three, which makes it a lot easier so we can actually uh, call you. God bless you. The Lord be with you. <coughs> Let us stand. Let's give the word a tap offering. Amen. Let us sing. Sister Lupita, uh, can you get, um, just keep it ready just in case. Uh, Heavenly Father, if you, if you don't mind. Just to. But let us sing. There is power in the blood. Would you be free from your burden of sin? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you be free from your
dismiss us from this place but never from thy presence lord bring us back safely lord and to hear more of your word lord lord we ask all things in the name of the lord jesus christ 
Amen. 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 Let us sing, take the name of Jesus with you, and you're dismissed. <clears throat> Take the name of Jesus with you, child of sorrow and the woe. It will for and comfort